Good afternoon everyone, this is a word Kakadim and in this video we are going to do, uh, we are going to solve mathematics uh, syllabus D, uh, paper 1 that came in 2012 and yeah so for those that have not actually subscribed to my channel please you can kindly subscribe so that uh, you don't miss any uh, update or any post from uh, us, Radhika Karim. So, without uh, wasting much time, uh, we are going to solve uh, this paper from question one all the way up to six. Okay, so now you can see what we have on question one. It says, uh, find the value of find the value of C. I mean, find the value of A, two whole number, the two whole number, one over five minus three over four. Okay, so the way we solve this one is we have number one. So this is a two whole number minus three over Okay, so this is just going to be multiply these two multiply by five, you get ten plus one, you get eleven. Okay, over five minus this is maintained. Okay, and we are going to find the lowest common uh, denominator. So this is a uh, four. This is 4, so that is 4. So the number into which 4 and 5 can go into is simply 20. So we are going to say 5 into 20 goes in 4 times times 11. It's going to be 4, 4, 44. Minus 4 into 20 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15. So again, this is going to be, when you say 15, uh, 44 uh, minus uh, 15, you're just going to have 29 over 20. So we know that uh, 20 into 29, just 1, okay? Menda 9 over 20. So that is the answer on question 1, 1A. So on B, on B, all you have to do is uh, add the decimal, this one, uh, 1.892 plus uh, 452. So from there, you just say this 1.892, okay? And then we know that this one doesn't have a point. So what you can do is... Um, what you can just do is just by looking at how can you place this one, okay? So we are going to say 2.000, then you copy this going to your left, okay? And this, these after the decimal, they are just place values. So 2 plus 0 is 2, 2, that 9, that is 8 point. And this is uh, just 3, uh, 5, and 4. So that is the answer. Okay. Now we move on. We go to question 2. Okay. Now when you look at question 2, Question 2 says simplify. So the way we simplify, first of all, we copy the question. Okay. So the way we simplify is going to be 3x. Then this open the bracket. 
So it's going to be 14x negative 7 multiplied by negative 5 to be plus 35. So from there, you can just do the like terms. Okay. So this uh, is going to be negative 13x plus 35. So just rewrite this one, uh, 35 minus 13x. Okay. Then we are done there. Okay, so now you go to now go to the this question now it says the population of an African country in 2010 was 13,000 13 million 46,508. Express this population in standard form correct to significant figures. So when you look at this one. Let's do a copy. Okay. So the first thing is you look at uh, what numbers are significant. So it's this, this, and this. So only three. So I mean the numbers from four going this side, you don't need them. Okay. But the idea is that uh, we have to do the standard form before we do the uh, this, um, the, this, uh, the significant figures. So in this case, we are going to say we start the point until we make this number less than uh, 1. I mean less than 10. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like this. So just going to be 1.3046, uh, okay? If I'm not mistaken, um, let me just check again. Okay. So we're just saying that uh, five. Okay. So this is going to be one point, I mean, times 10 to the power seven. So times 10 to the power seven. So now, uh, the number of significant you are looking for, they are just going to be 3. So 1, this one is going to be taken, 3 and 0. So when you look at it starting from 4, going all this way around. Now this 4 is less than 5. So we just throw it away and the rest turns into 0. So this is going to be 1.30 multiplied by 10 to the power 7. So this is uh, the answer on that one. So that is a question three. Now let us move on to question. Uh, so now you can see that question four is about or uh, under matrices. So under matrices. And the question tells us, given that this matrix A is that and matrix B is this, find this. Okay, so when you are looking for that one, the first thing is, uh, first of all, you simplify this part, okay, this part. So this part must be simplified. So meaning, a 1 over 3, we know that the matrix P is this one, so you repress. And this is going to be 1 over 3 times uh, 9. It is just like saying 1 over 3 times 9. So over 1 there. So it's 9 over 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 9 is 9. So 3 into 9, just 3. So on this one, you're going to have 3 there. 1 over 3 times uh, 3 is just the 1. And this, this is going to be negative 4, this time that, just going to be 2. Then now, you say, uh, therefore, 
Now a minus minus one over three b. Okay, so this is going to be so this is going to be matrix A. Okay, matrix A is this one. So one. 1, 4, negative 3, uh, 5, close the bracket, minus. Now, this one is already found. It's this one. Just put 3, negative 4, 1, 2, 3. So now, once you do that, we can now start simplifying. Okay. So this is going to be, when you're subtracting, so the first element there minus this. So it's just going to be 1 minus 3, okay? And this negative 3 minus the other second element there. So negative 3 minus 1. And 4 minus negative 4. So the way you write this one is this. You close the bracket. So be careful here, you have to open and close the bracket. The last one minus this last one. So it's 5 minus 2. And this is going to be, on this one, this is uh, just the negative 2. And this is just the uh, negative 4. Okay. And this is just the negative, then negative to be positive. So 4 plus 4 is 8. This is 3. Okay. That's how you're supposed to answer that one. Okay. So that is a uh, question 4 on matrices. That is question 4. Okay. So now what follows next is uh, the question about uh, factorization. Okay. So now, when you're solving factorization, you have to be very careful again because we have, in this case, 4 minus 16x squared. So what is common in, on both terms is a 4. You put it inside. Now 4 into 4, it's 1. Minus 4 into 16 is just 4 then x squared. Now, you don't have to just end there because uh, you're still going. Okay, so uh, 4, open the bracket, and then this kind of a, I mean, uh, you can say 4, then these brackets, and then this. So what is, again, common? This one can be factorized then as 4 x squared will be just 1 minus 2x cross and 1 plus 2x cross. Okay, so this is going to be 1 minus 2x. Okay, then 1 plus 2x. Okay, so this is how you need to factorize. This is how you needed to factorize. So make sure that uh, if you are not clear, please, uh, you can actually drop your comment uh, in the comment section so that uh, we can help you understand. Okay, so that was uh, question five. Now let us move on to question six. Now question six has got two uh, questions, okay? Okay, so now on this one, you're saying Mr. Hambuimbui, Mr. Hambuimbui plans to employ 20 men to build his house in seven days. On the day work was to start, he decided to reduce the number of men so that uh, 
work could now be completed in 28 days. Okay, so question six is about uh, proportional ratios. So proportional are quite very tricky. You have to understand them. So Mr. Hambui Mbui uh, planned to employ 20 men to build his house in seven days. On the day work was to start, he decided to reduce the number of men so that work could now be completed in 28 days, working at the same rate, meaning that we will have 28, 20 men that were able to build this house in seven days. So on the work that uh, he was, work to, was to start, he decided to reduce. So we need to expect the number of men to be below 20. Otherwise, anything above 20, then our answer is wrong. So to reduce the number of men so that our work could now be completed in 28 days. So when you reduce the number um, of men to complete the house, then we expect that uh, house to be completed in more than seven days. Okay, that's uh, what we call inverse proportion. So in this case, on uh, question six, what is happening is uh, all you have to do is uh, you say, so all you have to do is uh, you say the x, you say x can be any letter, of the men that you want to this other number of men that is given is equal to the number of days that these people complete in 20 right by 28 days that we plan a certain number of people to complete. So from that now point onward, we can now just cross multiply. Okay. So you're going to have 20 multiplied by 7 is equal to x multiplied by 28. So this is going to be 20 by 7 on 40 equals to 28x. Then from there we can now divide. Then we can divide. So this will give us now just the 5 men okay five men would complete the work in uh 28 days so this is our question 6a now when you go to question b it says express the number of men that complete the work in 28 days so so express so the number of uh, men that completed the work in 28 days were uh, how many were how many just five so when you hear that ratio you have to express as a ratio so it's over to uh, to the number of men you plan to employ as a ratio so you plan to employ actually 20 men so from there now you can see just to divide five there it's one five here it's uh, four so in its uh, simplest form just going to be one over four so thank you so much guys for watching please if you have not subscribed to my channel please make sure you do so so that uh, you get these things done thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video it's bye bye this is a radical card